What is going on, everyone? It's your guy, Cole Jackson, back here on Road Graders with another episode of the Ravens Rant. Before we jump into this one, I wanted to say a big thanks to our sponsor, our guys over at Homage. They're going to get you geared up for the 2024, or I guess 2023, NFL playoffs uh, with their wide selection of vintage Ravens gear. Um, go to homage.com. Click on Baltimore Ravens. They have some of the best stuff. You can see in the picture up there, that AFC uh, Ravens jacket is one of the nicest jackets I've seen. They also have the NFL Blitz, NFL uh, Jam, and Angry Run Series t-shirts, um, as well as the Big Helmet uh, Series that they're currently running. They're currently 20% off everything. Go check it out. I dropped the link down below. Thank you to Homage for sponsoring this episode. And today we're going to be talking about the 2023 2024 i don't know which year it is we'll have to figure that out um nfl postseason and i'm going to give you guys my predictions do a run through the bracket obviously the ravens are in a bye week not a lot to talk about until we know who we're going to be playing so we're going to do a little bit of a challenge i'm going to give you guys my prediction and i want you guys to comment yours pick all the way through and what we're going to do is we're going to come back here in february if there is a winner that gets the entire bracket right so the entire bracket needs to be right i will buy you your item of choice from homage so that's going to be our little sponsorship deal and uh if there's multiple winners with the perfect bracket i'll throw the names in a draw pick one just do it that way so again thanks to homage for sponsoring this episode um so let's get right into my picks i'll kind of walk you guys through my bracket so obviously the one seeds baltimore and San Francisco, you guys know that. Um, I know I know that. Uh, so we're going to start with the 2-7 matchup, and I am going with the Buffalo Bills in this one uh, to move on to the divisional round. Now, I will say, just a quick preface on this one, this game will be closer than you think. The Pittsburgh Steelers have a bizarrely high DVOA ranking. They're like ninth in the NFL. They don't look overly great. There's been a lot of issues with their team. Uh, they don't have TJ Watt, but they just find a way to make you play their game. Uh, that's how they've always kind of played the Ravens. I think with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills being turnover prone, I think they stay in this game. I'm thinking it's in like an ugly 17 to 10 type game. Uh, so it's going to be a little tighter than I think many people think, but I see Buffalo moving on. In that game, we move on to Casey versus Miami, and this brings us Baltimore's opponent. It's going to be a rematch. I think Miami goes into Kansas City and gets that win. I think they're going to get a couple of their guys back healthy, and I just see Kansas City getting a little too stuck in the mud. The big argument for KC is their defense is very good, and they have Patrick Mahomes. I get that. But with that explosive offense, I think they finally start to click. Um, and I think they're going to get a couple of those guys back where they're just without their explosive playmakers and the way Waddle and Tyreek Hill play off one another. I think it's really hurting them. So I see Miami moving on and they will be the ones coming to Baltimore to take on the Ravens in the Houston Cleveland game. I'm going with the Cleveland Browns. I think it's a tough matchup for Cleveland because they're playing. CJ Stroud is just playing some phenomenal football right now, but that Cleveland defense, the way Joe Flacco is playing, can't believe I'm saying that in 2024. Uh, but I just think Cleveland's going to get it done mostly on the, on, on that defense. I think if I knew Will Anderson was healthy, if I knew Jonathan Greenard was fully healthy, I'd feel a little bit differently with those backup tackles on Cleveland, but I think Cleveland gets out of this one with a win. Um, so we're going to stay in the AFC, go all the way through. Um, we're going to start with the first game here. I do have Baltimore moving into the AFC championship game. I think they beat Miami again, beating the same opponent twice in three weeks. Not easy, but I just, I love the matchup. I think the way the dolphins try and create explosive plays, the way they try and attack the flats. Remember last game, we did not have Kyle Hamilton. We will have him in the, uh, divisional round. Um, I think that really plays into Baltimore's favor and we've seen, the way we can move the ball on them. Them not having a pass rush is really going to impact them in this game. Um, and I think the Ravens find a way to get that done. Going into Buffalo, Cleveland, happening in Buffalo. I have the upset. I have the Cleveland Browns coming to Baltimore in the AFC Championship game. Joe Flacco, what a story. Um, you know, it was, I might have been a little biased, but I, I just, I really think that Cleveland defense is that good. That's seriously how good I think they are. Um, they're the number two DVOA de defense behind the Baltimore Ravens. And I think 
they're just going to get it done. Again, the way the the way the Bills turn over the ball and the way Cleveland's generating explosive plays, I think they find a way to get it done and they come in. But it's not going to be the Joe Flacco revenge story. I think Lamar Jackson gets to the Super Bowl this year. I really do. I know I'm biased. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough to know that. But I think Baltimore, I think this is their year. That Everything's lined up. I think they got hot at the right time, and I think they continue that momentum. Everything I've heard out of the building is that this is a mature group. They know what's in front of them, and they're not going to let this pass them by the way they did in 2019. Uh, when you look at the con- future contract situation, when you look at the draft capital, there was a thing that came out today. They have like the six lowest future assets and salary cap and draft capital. This is the year to make a run. I think the Ravens get it done. Mm-hmm. Moving into the NFC, we start down at the bottom with Dallas Green Bay. I think Dallas wins that game. I do think Green Bay will keep it tight. Um, I think Jordan Love has been one of the best stories in the league. A lot of fun to watch that. Uh, But I just think that Dallas defense is too good. And again, their offense, I don't know how they're going to match up with C.D. Lamb. Uh, He's just been absolutely dominant. And again, a team that's playing good at the right time. Uh, They had that little humbling game against Miami where they lost 22-20. And I think that's the kind of kick in the pants they needed to continue. Uh, Going into Detroit, against the Rams in Detroit. I have an upset. I have the Rams winning this one. Um, They've been a bit of a surprise story as well, where I don't think people expected this with the contract situation, some of the injuries, but the Rams, again, are playing good football at the right time. I love the matchup for them. Uh, Their defensive front against Detroit's run game, we've kind of seen in some of Detroit's losses when they can't exert their game plan of running the ball using play action they get down and they get hurt. And that's how the Ravens beat them. We saw them struggle um, two weeks ago. So I I think that's a game that the Rams are actually going to pull out the upset. And then moving into Philly T-Bay against Tampa Bay, I got Philly winning that one. I know they've been playing bad football. Um, I know it hasn't looked good. Their DVOA has dropped significantly. They're actually down to 14th. Um, But I just, Tampa Bay, just they're that divisional winner that I don't think is really truly a playoff team. I think that defensive front is able to kind of limit Rashad White. I think it's going to put too much pressure on the pass game in Baker Mayfield. I don't think they're going to be able to get it done. And I think this Eagles offense gets their gets their groove back a little bit. Um, so moving into the next matchup, I have the Rams beating the San Francisco 49ers. I know, it's crazy. You got to pick an upset somewhere. I had Cleveland on one side. I got the Rams on this side. They're a bit of the Cinderella story. Um, again, I think they match up really well with them. The only concern I have with the Rams is they just don't have those edge setters to stop Christian McCaffrey. That's really where that game's going to be won or loss. Um, But I think those receivers, that's going to match up really well. Uh, The way the offensive line's playing for the Rams, I think, will benefit them against that defensive front. And I think Nakua and Cooper Cup kind of, you know, get lightning in a bottle and win a couple games here in the NFL playoffs. Moving into Dallas Philly, obviously an uh, NFC beast battle here um it used used to be a bit of a joke that it was the nfl and nfc beast now they got some pretty good teams in that division um i actually have dallas winning this one i have them beating philly i i just i think that team is getting hot at the right time dallas will host the la rams and that will set up the super bowl matchup between the baltimore ravens and the dallas cowboys um this is an interesting one because these are two teams that have been heavily criticized over the last five years, basically as not being able to win in the playoffs. And I have them both in the super bowl. Um, You know, it reminds me kind of, of, and a lot of you guys are in the Maryland uh, DMV area. So you guys will know this, but it kind of reminds me of the Washington capitals. You know, they couldn't win in the place at playoffs until they did. And I just think these two teams are getting hot at the right time. I think if we follow the trend of DVOA, Baltimore is one overall Dallas is fourth. You know, you're kind of picking teams that have been the top teams throughout the, uh, throughout the year. And I just love the way they match up with their opponents on this run. And that leads me to the champion who are we kidding. I wasn't not going to pick the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I can't pick against them. I think the Ravens get it done this year. I really do. Um, I love the way they match up on the, on, on paper with everybody on this run. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I feel pretty good about this bracket. I played around with it a lot. I tried to balance, you know, matchups, but also kind of the upset factor. But, you know, none of this matters without you guys. I want to hear from you guys. Put your picks down below. Hit like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to enter the competition. And again, 
the whoever picks a perfect bracket and if there's multiple winners i'll put all the names in a hat and draw one i'll, I'll put it on uh, on twitter so you guys see that it's legit i will buy you an item of choice off homage again thank you to our sponsors looking forward to the comments looking forward to the challenge and most importantly looking forward to some playoff football where us ravens fans get to kind of chill this weekend be good to yourselves be good to each other peace out everyone Thank <laughs> you.